You see, if we're going to understand how service becomes a differentiator, we've got to define our product at Han as a combination of the tangible and the intangible. The product we have to sell is a combination of the tangible and the intangible. Now come with me, guys. Come on. Most salespeople, when they get in front of the customer, they spend the majority of their time talking about the what? They spend the majority of their time talking about the tangible at the expense of the intangible. Now, what is McDonald's tangible product? It's the burgers. It's the Big Mac. It's the fries. What is your tangible product? It's the parts, right? It's the, it's the auto parts that we have. Most salespeople spend the majority of their time talking about the tangible at the expense of the intangible. We're going to have a hard time differentiating our service if that's the case. What is a product? Please write these numbers down. Guys, what we have found is that 40% of the customer's buying decision is going to be based on your product and your price. Hey, do we need to have competitive products? Do we need to carry great lines like Wix? Do we need to carry great products? Absolutely. Do our products need to be competitively priced? Without question, they do. But it only represents 40% of the buying decision. You ready? Those who understand that service is the differentiating, a differentiator clearly understand and have internalized that 60% of the reason why the customer will elect to do business with us is not because of the, the, the engine parts that we've got. It's not because of the Valvoline that we can bring. 60% of the buying decision is going to be based on our value-added offerings. It's going to be based, one more time, on everything you do for the customer beyond the product. 60%. You ready? Let me ask you this. What do most salespeople spend 100% of their time talking to the customer about? They spend 100% of their time talking about 40% of the buying decision. They're going to have a hard time differentiating themselves through service or anything else. They're spending 100% of the time talking about 40% of the buying decision, and it doesn't add up. 